Hello everyone, my name is Zishan Beg, and uh, in this video I will show you how to create uh, trains in Oracle ADF. What are trains actually? Trains are basically type of bounded task flow. You must have seen a similar thing. Um, let's uh, wait for it. Uh, okay finally lucky day uh, like this for example the whole wizard driven forms when you enter one form and move to the next step and in the end there is a summary step so first I would like to show you how I have created for, uh, for example let's see how it works give I'm not going to give a formatting here just uh, and for example this and also you can call the add department another bound task flow I have added you can select any department and then move to the next step and uh, here we have a uh, different uh, actually it's an employee table but I have divided into separate uh, pages into different fragments and uh, for example I'm taking this and next it's coming a summary what I have entered everything and confirm and cancel button when I press confirm it will go back to the main page and I have added the Zishan Bake, just 588 employee ID. Another thing we can do is add, and when, if for example, we don't want to, we want some new department to add, and so I will press this button add department, it will go to another bounded task flow, and here, for example, I add. Department number 88, it's new department and OK. It will come here and it will should show you in this list the new department. Yes, it's coming here. And when I select, it should so show you 88. So let's go to the uh, page uh, how I designed it. <coughs> So first step is how to create a bounded task flow. There is no special thing in the model project. And the uh, bounded task flow is a part of a uh, 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 train, sorry. I just, you will press new. And and when you select any ADF task flow, make sure you select this create bounded task flow and select this create train with page fragments and um, create train will allow you to create a series of uh, steps to complete your task so i have already created this emp basically and what emp is doing when you call the emp page it's called the method from uh, uh, the end uh, from the I uh, data control actually here you you just drag this create insert into the task flow so whenever you will call this task flow it will execute this create insert first because it's a default activity how to set default activity right click and select this default activity and it will go to the basic page from basic page we are if needed on a button I call add department task flows when I double click add departments it's again creating into the department uh, table and uh, on the exit it's returning OK or cancel what OK are doing they basically it's committing in the table in the database and cancel is actually rollback and one thing you have to make sure in the behavior section this mark as use existing transaction if possible because uh, we are in shared data control 
and uh, here in the EMP page also we are doing always begin a new transaction because it's the first step so this task flow will start a new transaction so what I'm doing here is I created a basic fragment which is similar to our page here I just dragged one iterator and uh, uh, created a simple with the unnecessary fields my laptop today is doing some special work very slow and uh, same uh, and another page here I've created the salary one and uh, here you can see and uh, what I have did anything now how to display these trains the question is so you will go to the component and uh, <coughs> you will write train there is two types of components uh, one is train which gives you the wizard thing uh, I actually this component will give you the series of uh, icons and this button will give you the button bar here so you, when you just drag and drop this it will automatically detect the train model your bounded task flow you have to just press ok to create it and uh, the other step on the third page what I have did is on the EMP I just simply drag and drop the read only uh, iterator of EMP and here the button of confirm in the task flow you if you notice we have OK and cancel so when the user press OK it goes to the confirm page uh, button action and the cancel is roll backing the things so you can explore the example by yourself if any questions you can call you can comment me or email me and what else is important yes so one thing because EMP entity is our sing, uh, one uh, table entity and we are breaking into multiple page so what happens if I don't skip the validations on this EMP page it will stuck here and next button will not work so how to skip the validation you will go to the bounding uh, bindings and go to the page definition and here actually in the overview you can select the page definition and select skip validation to true by default it's false so if you select true it will skip the validation on this page up to the comment so and you can check the documentation for other uh, math, uh, other properties also this will definitely a very useful property so you can explore the example by yourself uh, hope you understand how to create uh, the trains in ADF you need just a bounded task flow with the type of train and how to display the properties name here you just select on the train stop and select display name and it will come under this and you can set the text with the icon So whenever you be on this icon the 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 page will actually display this uh, text here like I have entered here basic info you can see I you can see here basic info coming enter employee basic info and uh, when you same thing with the here salary info so you can check this all by yourself Thanks for watching. Hopefully you, you like uh, the video and uh, feel free you can download the sample code from the blog. Uh, thanks for watching.